Hi everyone, welcome to a Just Ask Jen video hosted by Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. Today we're going to use a Sizzix die cut to create a mini album. Now this is the mini album that we're going to create and inside it has these charming little envelopes. Now this one die creates the entire album and then you can decorate it however you want. So let's go ahead and get started with creating this Sizzix pocket mini album. So to start with, we're going to use this die from Sizzix, and it is a die from Lori Whitlock, and it's going to create a album, a little mini album that holds three by four cards. And this is what the die looks like. You will need a Big Shot machine, and you will need two extender cutting pads, and those are the clear acrylic cutting pads. What's so great about this die is that when you open the die and you turn it over, it tells you all the instructions required for making it. So you put a cutting plate down and you place the die on top, and then you place the cardstock or pattern paper, and then you can do a crease pad or you can do another cutting plate. And I used a cutting plate. And then here at the bottom, it gives you instructions for assembling and creating the album. So I suggest that you keep these instructions. Per the instructions, I cut out two pieces from a lighter teal cardstock, as well as some end pieces, and these will form the outside of the album. And then from a darker sheet of cardstock, you can see it's a little bit darker, I've cut four of these, and I just use their instructions. This will allow me to quickly and easily create an album. For the inside pages, you're going to use the crease marks that were created when you die cut the inside pieces. And you're going to want to fold in just some of the flaps. So you want to fold in these two flaps. Leave the curved part open. That's going to connect all of those pieces. And then you're going to fold it over. And this is going to create the pocket for each of the inside pieces. And then you can add a 3 by 4 inch card or a 3 by 4 inch photo to each of the pockets. And you'll want to do this for each of the four envelopes. To attach the pockets together, take that folded flap, fold it up, and add adhesive to it then attach it to the back of one of uh, the other pockets. Repeat the step, fold up the flap, attach it to the back of another pocket, and continue until all the flaps have been connected in this way. To assemble the outside piece, you can use the creases and fold up the end flaps on each piece. You'll have cut two of these pieces and we're going to adhere them together. You'll take one of the die cut pieces and right along this bottom edge we're going to add adhesive to that flap and then we'll align that fold right along the bottom edge and this is what's going to form the outside of this album. To attach the pockets inside the album, add adhesive to the very first pocket that you created and mount it inside the album following the flaps shown on the die cut. Fold the flap forward on the final pocket, add adhesive to this, and adhere it to the cover. This will form the album. You can add as many pockets as you want depending on how thick the paper is and how much you'll be putting inside the pocket. Let's go ahead and decorate the album. So I wanted to show you how this album looks and this is just one way that you can do it. Now you'll notice that I have done it in a vertical orientation. You could also design it so it has a horizontal orientation, but I'll show you why I did it this way. I would plan on doing it vertical if your cards run from the top to the bottom. I would do it horizontally if you're using cards or photos that run this way. It just looks a little more consistent. 
Now I've added a little button to create a closure. You could on the inside flap add a magnet here and here or Velcro to help it stay closed or you could tie it closed with a ribbon. I've added a bunch of crepe paper embellishments. This is some happy birthday paper, a die cut, a die cut title, some more pattern paper, and then just some simple embellishments that you'll see throughout the album, including crochet twine and some enamel dots. Again, I did a vertical orientation so that you could see all the things that I've used that are vertically based. Again, more crepe paper paper, as well as some ephemera pieces. And then inside the pockets, I took a three by four journaling card and I cut off the corners, punched a hole and added some ribbon and it becomes a tag. So you can use journaling cards that are pre-designed and then you could add additional embellishments to it or you could leave it as is. Again, they're made to tuck right into these pockets. The next card on the outside is decorated with some more pattern paper from Crate Paper. You could also cut the pockets from pattern paper. What I would watch for is whatever pattern you want on the outside, make sure you also like the inside pattern so that when you are creating your pockets, you like everything about it. But it would be fun to do each of these pockets as pattern paper. I've included a black and white 3x4 photo of my daughter when she was younger. And you could add more photos. You could put more than one item in each pocket. It's completely up to you. And then the next pocket, again, decorated with ephemera and pattern paper and enamel dots. Again, I took another tag and I trimmed off the corners, punched a hole, and this time I used the ribbon and tied it into a bow. So mix it up, don't do everything the same. It's a lot more interesting when each element is kind of its own thing. And then for the very last card, I decorated it with some more ephemera, combined two pattern papers, and then this one contains a journaling card. So I wanted to show you some different things that you can include. You can include pre-designed cards, you can include some that have smaller photos on them. You can include photos, or you can add more than one thing in the pocket, including maybe some ephemera of your own, such as tickets or other items that you cherish. And then you can slide back all of the elements back inside, and then close it and deliver it to the person that you love. Thank you for joining me for this Just Ask Jen video. Be sure to take a moment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For additional inspiration, be sure to visit our website.